Central Station, Central Transit Hub. Let's have a look around, see what we can find. Welcome, welcome to Cairo Station. Today's date is 24 April 2537. Right. Well, at least the big holographic tree still works. Indeed. It's possible the power grid is more stable in this area. to all those we have lost, devoted to all those we have yet to save. Yes, Jack? Dedicated to all those we have lost, devoted to all those we have yet to save. Environmental systems compromised. Atmosphere suboptimal. Still no life support. We still have time. We'll find a stable environment. Don't worry. Who's worried? are all closed. A miracle we managed to get the Hab A tram up and running. No harm in a second, let's. Transportation to Habitat B is currently unavailable. In case of an emergency, contact the station's directory. Not been touched in ages. This is a dead end. Let's keep looking. I'm going up. Jack? Up here. Tell me what that looks like to you. It's an old Atlas vessel. Pioneer class. What the hell? What's a ship from our time doing here? I brought it here. Do you know? Hello, Captain Miles. Jack. I'm glad to see you're still safe. Juno, are you saying this is your ship? That's a complicated question. The ship is my home, but it doesn't belong to me. Then who does it belong to? I'm afraid I'm not permitted to disclose that information. Imagine my shock. I am sorry, Captain Rhodes. I would tell you if I could, but my directives... What about life support? Does the ship still have atmosphere? The ship is currently suffering the same power disruptions as the station. However, if one were to cycle the ship's reactor... Then we'd have life support. In theory. How do we get on board? The docking platform is in the next sector, through the security checkpoint. I can show you the way. Hold on. You're not allowed to tell us anything about the ship itself, but helping us get on board, that's no problem. My primary directive is to keep you alive. And the best way to do that is to get you on board the ship. The door is sealed. I will need a moment to bypass the security constraints. So, you're really not part of the station? 
I am what's known as a transient program, capable of gaining limited access to a variety of different networks. But I consider the ship to be my true home. There we are. Never thought I'd see an Atlas ship out the window again. Do you think it's safe following Juno to that ship? There's clearly a lot more she has yet to tell us. Yeah, but not by choice. Somebody's pulling her strings. And I'll bet whoever it is, they're on that ship. Looks like we've got another door on the blink. Let's get a closer look. Can you see anything? Liv, there's something moving on the other side of the door. Some sort of creature. Let me guess. Small, spongy, and covered in tentacles. How did you know? Because there's one over here, too. Come and have a look. What is that? That is a tick. I'm sorry, you say that like I'm supposed to know what it means? Ugh. Ticks are an evolved form of the biomass. What is it doing? Ticks instinctually seek out the nearest viable energy source, which, in this case, happens to be the captain. Hmm, lovely. I wouldn't worry yourself, Captain. I'm reasonably certain it can't break through the glass. All right, so now what do we do? The only way we can proceed is by removing those ticks. Well, let's have a look around, then. There's got to be some way to get rid of these things. It seems likely this form of biothread is closely related to the spore variant we are more familiar with. It's amazing that despite all the odds, they somehow got uglier. It would be easier to see without this thing coming in my face. Missing something. Keep looking. There isn't any way to get this door open. So long as our tick is leaking its power, the door is inoperable. What about that disposal unit? That might work. You'll just need to find a way to get them into the chute. It will be dangerous, but I don't see any other option. You'll need to clear the area before boarding the ship. How the hell are we supposed to clear the room if we can't even get inside? According to the station schematics, there should be another way to access the security checkpoint through the loading bay. It's just this way. dark in there. Are you sure it's safe? Not as sure as I'd like to be. I'll try to scan the area ahead for potential threats. Stand by. No use. Can't see a thing. Jack, mind using your headlamp to throw some light in there. It's pretty dark, Jack. You'll need to activate your headlamp. We won't be able to get a good look without your headlamp on.
I'm seeing a considerable biomass presence on the other side. Shit. Captain Rose. We know, Juno. We saw it. I'm afraid this means you'll have to stay behind. Uh, what? Jack and I will continue through the loading bay. Once we clear the docking terminal... No, absolutely not. I'm sorry, Captain, but I cannot allow you to proceed. The risk is far too great. Well, if it's too risky for me, it's too risky for Jack. It's all right, Liv. I'll be careful. Jack, no. We've been over this. Listen, I know you're used to thinking of yourself as... invincible, but you're not. Not anymore. If you go in there with only one shell and something happens, you could... Actually, Captain, I think there may be a way for Jack to avoid that possibility. Yeah, he can avoid it by not going. As I was scanning the loading bay, I detected a working fabricator in the adjacent section. If Jack and I can get it powered on, we should be able to use it to scan his architecture into the station's database. So... You're saying he'd be able to reboot again? Exactly. <sighs> From what I can see, the biomass appears to be dormant. The risk is minimal. And how long do you suppose that'll last? I promise, Captain. I won't let Jack do anything that might put him in jeopardy. <sighs> All right. All right. If we're gonna do this, let's do it. Just watch yourself in there, okay? I'll be waiting back at the security entrance. Understood. I'll see you on the other side. Uh, let's maybe mind our phrasing, yeah? Oh, I didn't mean... It's all right. I know what you meant. Good luck. Popcorn. I'll unlock the door for you. Stand by. Ready when you are. Jack, up here. The emergency power switch is in this control room. How do I get inside? You'll need to go through the maintenance ducts. There should be an access way nearby. You're sure all the biomass in this sector is dormant? As sure as I can be. Of course, that will change once we get emergency power back online. But by then he'll be able to reboot, right? It will take a minute or two to get Jack scanned into the system, but that is more or less correct. There you are. This override switch will restore emergency power to the local grid. Whoa, what's that? Emergency power has been restored. The door to the loading bay is unlocked. What about the fabricator? Online and ready to scan. Jack, if you'll follow me. Just climb inside and we'll begin. This will only take a few moments. New template created. 
Echo Unit Series 11. Initializing fixed tomographic scan. Mapping target composition. Replicating internal functionality. Linking neural matrix to network. Scan complete. Did it work? Scan output shows no errors. Neural connection is green. Yes, it worked. You're sure? From this point forward, if Jack's shell becomes damaged or destroyed, he will automatically reprint at the nearest working fabricator. Well, Jack? How do you feel? This should make removing those sticks much easier. Well, I'd imagine there's a lot that gets easier when you're basically invulnerable. Indeed. It's unfortunate that fabricators are incapable of replicating organic matter. Otherwise, Captain, we'd be able to scan you into the system as well. Right. Well, the important thing is, Jack's back to normal. We're all done here. Jack, I've reopened the access hatch. Make your way back through the maintenance duct. I'll be waiting for you by the entrance to the loading bay. On my way. Be careful. Restoring original power has awakened the bypass. So, unless your pilot has your new reboot ability, I would have your Understood. It's fortunate these fabricators are well stocked. Do you know? Yes, Jack? Please stop. Sorry. Well done, Jack. I hope that wasn't too distressing an experience for you. Nothing I haven't been through before. Now then, this corridor will take us through the loading bay and back around to the rear entrance of the security room. Liv, we are moving into the loading bay. Copy that. Keep me posted on comms, all right? Of course. I'll continue to scan the station's database for any additional schematics or equipment that might be of use. Sure, you do that. Good luck in there, Jack. The way ahead is through this door, but if you try to open it now, the tick is sure to attack you. We should find a way to pacify it before we even attempt opening the door. Juno, what is this crane used for? It utilizes a zero-point energy stasis field to carry and sort incoming cargo, at least when it's powered on. Its primary power source is currently offline. Perhaps we can find a source of power to distract the tech. What is this panel in the floor? An electrical bypass. It allows you to direct emergency power to various systems in the area. You can use your cutter to gain access. You can lift the lever to reroute power. Ah, so the bypass powers the crane arm. That will certainly keep the tick occupied. 
Now we should be able to safely open the door. We're fortunate the store has an emergency release. Not all of them do. I assume I'll need to cut through this panel as well? Simply cutting through the gold should suffice. No sense causing access damage. Right. Wouldn't want to compromise the pristine condition of the station now, would we? Now just pull the release handle and the door will unlatch. should be able to slide the door open. Is this crane mobile? I believe so. You should be able to use the overhead handles to push it along the rail, or use the turning wheel to rotate the arm. Watch yourself. There are two more ticks at the end of the corridor. I advise holding the rail to anchor yourself as you move the crane. Another tick. Take care moving forward. Copy that. It appears the transformer on the far wall is now live. The tick is still focused on the door. So long as the tick has a power source to feed on, it won't bother searching for another. What's in these containers? Dietary provisions, most likely. Salt, coffee, various synthetic grains. Whoa, whoa, wait. Back up. You found coffee? I wouldn't advise drinking this coffee, Captain. That did it. Well done. More ticks in the next room. We'll need some way to distract them. This crane arm is already online. The slider is unlocked. You should be able to move the crane just like before. That looks to be our best option for distracting those ticks. If you can find a way to lure them out. <sighs> Door powered down. The 
tick can sense me through the glass. Yes. As long as it can read your energy signature, the tick will continue to follow you. Hmm. Perhaps I can use that to my advantage. Indeed. Ticks may be deadly, but they're not exactly intelligent. Skillful work, Echo One. Door power restored. This is concerning. I didn't realize the infestation was so prevalent in this area of the facility. You don't have any way to detect it in advance. I only have limited access to the station's internal sensors, which at the moment aren't even fully operational. You mind telling us just what the hell happened here? There was a biomass outbreak. I'll bet it's your attention to detail that sets you apart from all the other AIs. There's not much more I can tell you without violating my directives. Well, what about the crew? Are they really all gone? All 118 souls aboard the station have either perished or were evacuated. So then, what the hell are we doing here? After your unexpected arrival aboard the Astrea, I was directed to bring you somewhere safe. This is safe? Well, the habitat was safe at the time. Now the ship is our only option. Brilliant. I'm guessing there's no way to open this door. Unfortunately, no. The infestation is too severe. You will need to find another way around.
This door is completely disconnected from the power grid. It will need an external power source. Like a battery? Precisely. How much farther, as you know? Nearly there. The security room is just on the other side of this depot. I assume we'll find more tick swarms? Technically, the correct term for a group of ticks is a murder. I'm sorry, Priya. I suppose. I always found the term a little too on the nose. Quite a sizable crane. It also has greater freedom of movement, capable of sliding in four directions rather than just two. The crane's power field might be enough to distract the text. handle Jack getting to be quite the tick expert are we I imagine navigating a gauntlet of tick infested corridors would make anyone an expert actually it would probably just kill them either way well done on getting you to safety. I suspect much will be made clear once we have you secure aboard the ship. Is everything all right? Well, I still have a mindless tentacle monster trying with all its might to eat my face. But he hasn't actually managed to do it yet, so all in all, I'd say things are going pretty well. Disposal unit powered on. Now how do I eject the ticks? The tick is siphoning power from the disposal unit. You'll have to use the manual ejection switch. One more to go. Is there some way to open these shutters? The controls are inoperable. I can't just force them open. Oh. I must say, you made that look incredibly easy. He does that. The creature does seem to be quite fond of the captain. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. 
Liv, come over to the door. Whatever you need. <clears throat> That's it. We're clear. Confirmed. Room secure. Nicely done. Now, Juno, if you would, please. Jack, I need you to repower the door so I can open it. Appreciate it. Are you all right? Of course. These reconstructed shells are practically identical to my original design. I hardly notice a difference. Hardly. Well, there may be one or two servos that are off by a micrometer or so. I'm sure you'll manage. The important thing is we're finally clear of the biomass. Um, Captain Rhodes. What is it? More biomass. Oh, Juno. You're kidding me right now with this. Not to worry, Captain. I already have a solution. While sorting through the station's database, I managed to locate a set of design specs for a protective EVA suit. An EVA suit? With an air supply? A limited air supply. We'll still want to get you to a stable environment as soon as possible. More importantly, the suit will provide limited protection against the biomass. I've already queued up the schematic. All you have to do is enter the fabricator, and we can begin. Uh, can't we just print the suit and I'll put it on out here? The fabricator will perfectly form the suit to fit your body. It only takes a moment. Okay. I like it. A marked improvement over your old EVA suit. My old EVA suit was being held together by duct tape. I certainly hope this is... Come on, let's go. Give me a moment to open the door. The ship is just up ahead. Oh, I almost forgot how nauseating this stuff is up close. No cause for alarm. Your suit's filtration system is designed specifically to handle airborne contaminants. You'll remain safe as long as direct contact is avoided. I was more worried about my eyes, actually. Is the ship not connected to the station? Given the risk of contamination, the ship remains severed from the facility. Only under the most extreme circumstances... Uh, I'd say this qualifies. Of course, Captain. Stand by while I extend the gangway. Once inside, I suggest making your way to the bridge. From there... Yeah, I'm familiar. From the cockpit, I can use the number two engineering panel to cycle the reactor and bring the ship online. That's correct. Juno, are you not coming with us? All the power disruptions have rendered me unable to connect to the ship's mainframe. Once the power levels normalize, I should be able to join you on board. Good luck. What 
all the odds. What do you mean, Liv? Oh, nothing. It's just... I, I grew up on a ship almost exactly like this one. It was part of the Solar Colonial Initiative. How long do you suppose it's been in service? No idea. We'll just have to find someone and ask. Attention. Atmospheric pressure normal. Oxygen levels normal. Well, that's promising. Hello? Anyone here? Nothing. I think it's just us, Jack. Well, let's have a look, shall we? Here's a way to the bridge. 